Today, Sony discovers more ways to charge you for free games. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, where we are actually doing Desert Bus right now, but through the magic of internet television, are also here. More amazing marketing news from Sony Online Entertainment. As a reminder, this is the company that figured out how to get people to pay $35 for just the endgame content of a product that came out in 2004. And guess what? They have done it again! SOE is currently developing the next iteration of EverQuest, the free-to-play EverQuest Next. Exciting, right? Well, for just $60, you can join the alpha right now! That's right! Pay new game retail price for early buggy developmental access to a free game! Someone go find the head of marketing for EverQuest and give them a goddamn medal. Or maybe a swift kick in the ass. Maybe both. A BlizzCon update on the Warcraft movie. It's still happening. It's coming out December 18th, 2015, and while it is going to take place in the world of Warcraft, it is not going to take place in the world of Warcraft, in that the movie is set during the events of Warcraft 2. It'll be a mix of live action and CG, and while very little else is known, they've described it as gritty, and have bragged that the prop swords currently being made for it are literally the biggest sword a human can wield. That sounds kind of awesome, but it's not actually filling me with confidence. On the other hand, it is being directed by Duncan Jones, so maybe it won't be all crap. Do you want to learn how to make and run your own game company? You're in luck! The University of Texas at Austin has created the all-new Denius Sam's Gaming Academy, which, in addition to having a very long name, will teach you how to put the biz into games business. So how are they going to do this? Well, it was formed by people like Blizzard's Chief of Operations Paul Sam's, EA's COO Richard Hilleman, Arch developer Richard Garriott, and even Bioware co-founder Dr. Greg Zeschuk. So yeah, this academy is filling a huge gap in the gaming industry. Did I mention the director is Warren Spector? It's great. Finally, white, ultra-rich, middle-aged gaming executives have some place to go after they've sold off their companies and been retired. Hey, do you remember earlier during Desert Bus when you had to get completely naked for that challenge? No. Well, maybe if you've been watching at DesertBus.org, you would have seen all those wonderful hijinks and that meat and two veg on incredible, glorious HD display. Pretty sure that's a direct contravention of the Twitch TV Terms of Service. Anyhow, if you want to see that and more, DesertBus.org. Coming up. The Xbox 360 update of Minecraft is being delayed to focus on the Xbox One release. Finally, a console that will be able to handle the incredible, eye-bending majesty of Minecraft. So... awkward. Yeah, we are short a story on Checkpoint this week, and ordinarily we would just reshoot it because we had some audio issues was uh, the problem, but we can't reshoot it this week because... It's Desert Bus prep, and we've sort of lost our set, so I'll just read the story now. Everyone, we've finally done it. Video surfaced online last week of some modern-day da Vinci's that have successfully combined the Oculus Rift VR goggles, the Novent Falcon haptic controller, and the Tenga masturbation aid into one Frankenstein virtual jerk-off device, wherein penis-bearing users can be pleasured by any 3D lady, man, or Cthulhu avatar they so desire. Good job, guys. This is all we've ever wanted. Cancel technology. We can finally stop innovating and just stay indoors all day. <laughs> so, yeah. Check out DesertBus.org and make this worthwhile. 